Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can change the file type of the executable that you will flash into your microcontroller. By default the cube ID it will generate for you a binary file. So this binary file it's an executable file that you will flash inside your memory. For that you will use the stlink utility so you saw me doing this before. I'm browsing for this debug folder and I'm loading this binary file. Might be sufficient for you, but um, yeah, in case you want to look inside the file, so here is the debug folder. If I want to look inside the file, so this is the file. And uh, I want to see its contents. I cannot do that because here are zero and ones instructions for the microprocessor to run and you need special editors to read this file. But let's say it is the case you want to see the file in you want to have the file in an SG format for example. So you have two options. You can either generate the executable as hex or as Motorola SREC. So let's see them both. To change this option, you go to project, right click on your project, select properties. You go inside the C++ build to the settings and inside here to the MCO post build outputs. So these are the outputs that are generated on post build. So when the build will finish. So we see here that we have convert to binary file. So this uh, check mark right here, it will generate us the bin file. If we don't want that, and let's say we want the hex and the Motorola S record file, we can check them both. Or we can check only one. For now let's keep them both checked. Apply and build. So here we have the hex file. If I go inside. This is how it looks. Now it's more readable. And this is the SREC file. So this also is more readable. And if you know assembler and you know it very well, you can extract what instructions were written inside your flash. So, for example, here are the instructions for the first part of your memory. So I'm copying this right here. I'm pasting it here. And I will copy this also from the SREC. The SREC files it's are more convenient because you can see the address from where this from where these instructions are executed. So as you can see, both of them are the same because in the end the machine code that is written to the microcontroller is the same. Either you use the hex file, the SREC file or the bin file. But uh, with the hex and the SREC, you can uh, yeah, see some uh, potential breaches inside your code. So here at the end of the line, I see Notepad++, plus plus, it's uh, putting me this in green. So these are the checksums. So this is it. This is the first part that I wanted to show you how to change the type of the file that is generated. Another uh, nice part inside this cube ID, you can see that the flash starts from this address. So this address, you can see it very easily inside the Motorola file. So this 8000 is exactly this start address. And uh, when your microcontroller resets, it will go to this address, to the address, to the first address with zero. And in here you have uh, an address of the function to be called 
which uh, might be the main function. So in the startup file, in the S file, here you can modify the interrupt vector table. So interrupt vector table, the first address is the reset vector, and in the reset vector you have the address of the function with which the microcontroller shall start. In case you have a bootloader, it will start with the bootloader and after that with the application. So this is the interrupt table. So these are the external interrupts. This is the reset handler. Let's go down. So here it is the call of the main. So it's, it is in the reset handler. It will initialize the stack pointer. It will do some things right here. We'll go into these details when we do the assembler lesson. So these are assembler stuff. And here is where the main function is called. So this is the entry point of your application. So if you don't want to have this main, you want to have it with a different name. Maybe let's say you want to have it with, you know, my function. You can have it with my function. No one is complaining about this, but uh, you have to specify this function. So this will not be int main, it will be int my function. We'll build again the code. We have an undefined reference. Okay, so to solve the undefined reference with the, with the issue, we have to see where this system init is uh, externalized. So it's defined in this uh, STMA. 32A4.c, but is uh, in this header file with it set as extern. So I put here the line to extern also the my function. So this uh, my function it will be seen and uh, it will be included inside the startup file and it will be used as applications entry point. So this is how you change the main function. Now the next topic that I want to cover in this lesson. It is about the memory segments. So we can see here that we have three segments. One name text, one data, and one BSS. And the next two names that we are seeing here, it is the space that all of these three segments are occupying inside our microcontroller. So we have one time the value in decimal and one time the value in hex. Now let's uh, concentrate on the text segment. First, let's uh, speak a little about the text segment. The text segment uh, will uh, end up typically inside the ROM. In our case, it is the flash memory. And it has inside, inside it the code that we are reading inside our source files. For example, these two functions, they will be converted into machine code. So this is what goes inside the text segment. And it will also contain constant data. So the constant data can be variables that have the const before them, or it can be the initialization of a global variable. So that's also a constant data. So the value itself, it's a constant data. So let's see. So here I have a new Notepad++ page. And here is the size. So this is the default size. Let me put it like this. Not default, actual size. Now let's comment out these two functions. And build again. Let's copy this. We can see that this has gone down. This remains the same, this remains the same. This will go down, this also. So the text segment has decreased. 
because we are having less machine code generated for this uh, source file. Now, I say that it also contains constant data. Let's make this uh, char hello constant. Const. And uh, let's make it uh, just hello so we can so we can count the characters. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, at the end of the line we have a new character. So this is of an array of uh, length seven. So let's save. So I think I just. Uh, to have the correct size, I will build again. So now the actual size is this. And let's see after I make this const. We see that the text has gone up because now we have 84. This one decreased, we have less data, this one remained the same. So this is the text segment, now let's go to the data segment. The data segment is used for initialized data. So here we have the global variables, like uh, for example, let's create one. Assign integer, let's make one of 32 bits, so it will have a size of 4 bytes. So let's say my var, and I say that the data segment is used for initialized data, so we need to initialize this. Let's give it a 5, and uh, to not be being optimized out, let's use it somewhere in here. This. And let's build. I'm copying. So I'm copying this right here. So now we have uh, additional code generated inside our text, but also it contains the value with which my var is initialized. And here it is the data, and here it is the BSS. So in the end, the data segment will be also a part of the RAM memory, but only 4 bytes and the rest inside the text. So this is uh, convenient. Now, let's see the BSS segment. If you, the BSS segment first contains all uninitialized data, so data which is not initialized. And the BSS comes from the abbreviation block started by symbol. And some people, they call this BSS segment as better safe space. So now let's see. I save this. We shall see that the data is not touched. And we shall see that the BSS segment is going up. As I said, the data is before as it was in previous examples, and this one has gone much higher. So this wall that I want to say about uh, the memory segments, there are also some additional sections that you might heard of. So those are, I'm writing them here, it, you have the stack and you have the heap. So these are two additional sections that will consume RAM. So these are using your RAM, so pay attention to this. Heap is used for dynamic allocation, but uh, inside most of the projects forbidden to use the heap memory, like for example, uh, safety projects as it is the case with uh, the automotive industry you are not allowed to use the heap for safety critical applications so you'll only use the stack and you'll have a, a very well structured program that is not uh, that is not having data uninitialized 
and so on. And it's not allocating dynamically some memory. Let's put here in the picture to be seen. So here you have it. So thank you very much for your attention. This was a very short lesson. So I covered how to change the name of the main function, how to change the file type of where it was, file type of uh, your executable file, which is inside the post build. So you can convert to hex format, Motorola format, or binary format. And uh, I explained you about these numbers right here it is very nice uh, this cube id that you have also this build analyzer and you can see how much size your ram has your rom and how much you have used with your application so i like this feature and uh, yeah thank you very much and if you like the video consider subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like to this video and see you next time. Bye.